What is your name? I'm Lorianne Lloyd. Where are you from? San Antonio, Texas. What is your official title for this competition? I'm the promoter, the CEO, the creator, the um, line painter. <laughs> How did you get interested in obstacle course racing? It was in 1995. I had had a couple of terrible accidents and I was in the gym training and a gentleman walked up to me by the name of Chris Noss, who is a magnificent trainer, one of the best conditioning coaches in the country, and said, you do a lot of pull-ups for a skinny girl. So he got my goat. So he told me about a competition in two weeks. I entered it. I won $7,500 and I said, this is for me. <laughs> Why did you create the Terminator Obstacle Course races? I created them because I chose for the sport to get back to what it was when I was competing. And that is where you could win from one to $4,000 for winning the obstacle course for men and women. Um, for instance, you know, the Eliminator Lou Zwick, that was the last one with the big prize money that we entered. And it was on ESPN, they're on Fox Sports Net. And I just want to get it back to that where it was. It's more fun to compete when you can, you go and you know that you could get first, second or third and win money and it really makes it worth it. And at a lot of the competitions before it attracted the Air Force Marines, LA Track Club, you would just get a lot of really different people out at it. So I'd like to see it get back to that, and it is with the Terminator. What is the International Association of Professional Obstacle Course Athletes? That is a pro-sanctioning body, very similar. It was modeled after the AWSA, which is the American Water Ski Association. And the sanctioning body is a legal sanctioned body to where there are rules with the race. So anyone can license the Iapoca to cover their race. So they would have to have electronic timing systems, certified judges, which we have the certifying you know, rules and qualifications. They would have to guarantee the prize money, how much it is, put it in the third party account up front. I mean, there's just rules like that and it protects the athlete and it keeps the quality in the competition. And it's a pro-am, so amateurs run the same way. There's just not cash given. And there's a level for everyone with and any race sanctioned under the International Association of Professional Obstacle Course Athletes. Who is eligible to join the International Association of Professional Obstacle Course Athletes? Anyone competing in the pro class. Why should someone compete in an obstacle course race? Inner and outer strength. When you do the obstacle course, you can do anything. When you do the obstacle course, it takes a lot of mental power to do. When you're coming across that finish line after doing all those obstacles in a row like that, people do not realize the kind of strength and inner strength it takes to do that in the heart. It takes to keep sprinting as fast as you can across the finish line because you don't care how you feel. You don't care if you need an ambulance after you finish. You're going. You're going for it. And when people come here and just learn to get over the cargo net, they've overcome a fear of heights or other fears, they learn to trust in themselves and it makes life easier otherwise. And that's the biggest compliment I get from people as to how this sport changed their life in that way. And it's very good cross training for other sports as well. What is the best way to train for an obstacle course race? My favorite is the 400 meter runs, trying to do them in under a minute. And of course, all your natural body movements like your push ups, pull ups, plyometrics and any compound movement. And basically at Laloka, we've developed a lot of movements that are very obstacle course specific. So, or you can just come here and see me.